Welcome sisters and brothers to my channel. My name is Nika. A lot of y'all know me as Nika Sage or Sage. Today I'm gonna to be talking about spiritual baths, how I take my spiritual baths, and the products that I um, make and that y'all can um, donate and receive and use it too and take spiritual baths as well. I'm gonna let y'all know the benefits and everything. Give me a few seconds, let me get high. This is my blunt holder. My blunt almost gone though. See, <laughs> smoking like a hippie. So, I also sell these. I don't make them, I sell them. And I will be receiving more in the middle of May and I will keep y'all posted on my Facebook page. Nika Sage. I will post that in the description section below. Ew. It is all. <coughs> now that I'm high, let's go ahead and cleanse our area. This is also a lighter I made. This is my baby's lighter. It's a picture of me. I also sell those and I will begin to sell those again in the middle of May. I'll be posting those on my Facebook page also. First thing first, let's cleanse our area. I'm going to cleanse my area with Palo Santos, Palo Santos, the holy wood. And make sure you know to never blow. <laughs> Get you a fan. I gotta be careful because my candle is right there. So you can be able to keep the smoke going. Oh, negative energy. Positive magnet, abundance magnet. I will see you give out. See, <clears throat> so I'm just going to let that smoke just go as it goes. So now that I cleanse my area, I'm going to let y'all know what y'all are going to be needing for the spiritual bath. First thing first, you're going to need something to cleanse with. So you're going to need um, Palo Santos, Sage, Florida Water, or Purifying Mist Spray. Um, the, something that cleanses your area. You're going to need um, some essential oil or body oil or some kind of oil to add to your bathroom i also i make um body and bath oil this one right here is made out of avocado oil almond oil and jojoba oil with um rose i'm sorry yes rosemary um essential oil and um this is my herbs and sea salt which is made with fine sea salts um and rosemary petals so it's my bath and body oil i am currently upgrading and working and mastering on my label and ingredients so bear with me oh, i also have lavender in here and rose and rosemary in here the reason let me continue let me know what you're gonna need you're also gonna need um some kind of stone or crystal if you have one i have uh my rose agate my floral i'm sorry my floral agate um stone I love it. It's good with nurturing, manifesting, and that's something I'm working on. So I'm going to be using this today in my spiritual bath along with other stones. But I just wanted to show y'all this one stone because I don't show a lot of people my collection. Um, it's sacred. You're going to need a bathtub and some water, some positive energy, and let's see. If you have any other extra things as far as candles... Um, stones, crystals, you can add whatever you like to relax, whatever puts you in the mood, like reading, music, you can add that also. What, whatever helps you focus on self-care and self-love. So the reason why we're doing this 
it's because we're, we want to take those steps in, on our self-care and self-love journey. And these are stuff that help. You're also going to need affirmations. I, f- I forgot. I'm sorry. Affirmations. I can't. I have, a, you know, I can speech commitment. <laughs> affirmations. Positive affirmations. You know, I, I make my own. I create my own. And I put those in the self-care and self-love packages. Um, so the reason why I chose rosemary petals, rose petals, and lavender petals in my herbs with sea salt is because I want rosemary helps with protection. Rose helps with love. Lavender helps with happiness and peace and positive. Um, so in my life right now, I want to attract those things. I want to attract whatever it is that I'm, I'm manifesting. I want whatever comes to me my way is to be, I want to be protected. I want to be loved. I want it to be loved and happiness. Whatever I'm retrieving, ret- retrieve it with love. I'm being protect- protected while I'm retrieving it. I'm, it's happy while it's coming my way. There's no harm or ill will behind it that I can't see or I can't feel. Um, cause you know, they say all money ain't good money. So, you know, you know, you got to turn down those kind of things cause of those energies. And I want to know that I'm aware of those things. And I also put rosemary essential oils in my bath in body oil for protection. I only use one. Um, I also can create different essential oils for different needs. So first, those are going to be the first things I add. Oh, the only two things. These are going to be the only two things I add in my spiritual bath today. Usually, I add. Usually, I'll add flowers or fruit, but I'm gonna keep it simple because these are the things that I provide in my self care and self love packages. So now that. I told y'all everything that you're going to need, all the steps. You have to make sure that you're not distracted. You have no distractions. You have to make sure you have everything that you need at the time that you're going to perform this. You, it's, you're, you're basically, you don't want to disrespect yourself. You don't want to put yourself like, oh, I'm not even ready. You don't want to uh, create self-doubt. You want to be prepared for this, like for anything else you're planning. Or if not, you're going to work on preparing for everything that you're planning with this step with you self-care self-love now when you're pouring everything into when you're preparing everything your bath water and things first thing you're gonna do you're gonna cleanse your bathroom cleanse yourself sage palo santos you know do an air purification um cleanse your bathroom if you don't i recommend you not saging if you don't have a window in your bathroom just follow santos florida water air purifier you know whatever um and then after that you're gonna take a shower you're gonna cleanse yourself you gotta cleanse yourself and if you after you take a shower you want to Palo Santos or whatever, cleanse again. You can cleanse again, but you'll need to, the third step, clean the restroom again. After you take a shower, clean out the bathtub. Make sure you have all your stuff again, again, because you're about to start this ritual. You already started with the shower, so you should already have all your stuff. So, but this is when you're about to keep getting your bliss. You can't get out that bathtub. You can't be like, oh, I forgot. I can't. No. This is about you. So, now that you wiped the bathtub after you took a shower, you, you, you cleanse the bathtub again. You're going to stop the tub up and you're going to let the water come on down to the preferred or desired temperature that you like. Whatever temperature that you want, have it. Do it. It is done. Okay. While the water is coming down, you can add your bath herbs. Or your bath and body oil. It doesn't matter you which one you choose first. I prefer to add bath and body oil first. 
So I want the oil, the water to go ahead and get to get the oil already in there and get the going. So when you adding this, you have to speak positive affirmation. Even you speak your positive affirmations and positive things and speak life into yourself. Even if you're adding this to your skin, to someone else in a bathtub. Right now we're doing it in the bathtub. When you add this bath oil and body oil into the bathtub, you want to speak positive affirmations. Positive things speak life into you what you desire speak it into your life put it in that water because you know water is life water is energy water water transfers everything so speak it into there i am beautiful i am love i am a money magnet prosperity sticks to me like honey you know drop it in there and then you're gonna uh, grab your bath herbs you're going to drop it in there as well. I am beautiful. I am love. I am worthy. I'm worthy of healing. I'm worthy of letting go all those things. I don't need anyone. Anyone to allow me to heal. I am taking steps in my life. I love it. It is positive. I'm allowing positive changes to happen. So, you're speaking those positive things in your life. You're attracting those things. You're giving out those things. They're in your mix. They're in your boil. You done created a whole spiritual bath in there with all your positive intentions. All your positive intentions are in this tub. Guess what? It's time for you to get in there. Marinate in that positive intention and positive thoughts, positive affirmation. Baby, this is your own brew. It's just not a pot. It's in a bathtub. This is what you created. This is your moment. This is your priority. This is your first step and many steps on this self-care and self-love journey. You deserve it. You deserve it. Don't question it. If anything stop you in your bliss while you in there, get back into it. It's nothing. Because you want this. You want to marinate into this. While you in there, if you need to, hold your nose. Dip yourself in there. Baptize yourself. Come on up. You know? And enjoy all of that. Enjoy every petal, every oil, all that water. Enjoy it. Now, after your spiritual bath is done, your self-care and self-love routine is not done. After you get out that tub, you, you rub yourself with that bath and body oil. Oh, I am loved. I am loved. I am better. I am worthy of everything I desire. Everything I want, I will manifest it. Nothing will stop me. Nothing will stop me. I reach goals. I am a prosperity and abundance and a money and a love magnet. All of that I want and deserve sticks to me like honey and grows in my life daily. Claim it. It is done. It is done. It is done. Ask, believe, and receive. Okay. So now that we got that done, cleaning up. The best thing you'll need to clean up is a strainer. What you use to strain, like you could use, like for instance, like in food. If you was to strain, a little strainer, macaroni or noodles or pasta or meat from the liquid or the oil, you would do, use that before Letting the water out, you want to get that strainer and put it over the drain because you don't want these little petals to clog up your your pipes. Or you can also try to put a towel over it and let the water go down as best as you could and then just get the rest with the rest of the towel. And you return these petals to the earth. You return these petals to the earth. You return these petals 
to the earth or he would turn these petals to the earth okay now don't ever get discouraged if it doesn't go the first way you want it to go try it again continue it let it become a routine let it become a ritual let self-care and self-love become a ritual not a chore it's a priority it's a priority it's a priority how you gonna love anybody else if you don't love yourself hmm how you gonna love these kids your spouses your parents if you don't love yourself you have to love yourself first that's the purest love that's love that's not gonna stop and you give that love to your kids and you give that love to your family you transferring that love to your family and your friends I'm going to keep this video short, though. I'm going to keep this video short, though. I'm not going to keep going on and on because you know how I go. But thank y'all so much for watching. If y'all have any questions, inbox me. I work on Facebook. I'm on there nonstop. I most likely respond after 8 a.m. and before 10 p.m. My next video, I'm going to be doing Manifesting with Bay Leaves. I apologize. I am getting used to this YouTube spiritual life, this craft life, and I'm trying to balance it all. And I appreciate y'all and show my highest, most genuous and genuine gratitude. If Oh, also, there goes my money jar. Money is coming. Money is coming. Money is coming. Abundance is coming. Abundance is coming. It's still like honey. That was my first video I did. Thank y'all. Now we're going to working on this one and now we're transferring to manifesting bay leaves. So I will also be doing a short video of me pouring, running my, starting my spiritual bath. I'm not going to do the shower. I'm going to show y'all the cleansing, filling up the tub, pouring the body oil and pouring the bath with pouring the herbs with the sea salt in the bath and doing positive affirmations. Thank y'all so much. I show my most genuine gratitude. Y'all have a grand day. Later. Grand. Welcome sisters and brothers. Well, welcome back. This is part two of our spiritual baths. So let's get started. What you're gonna need is the herbs with seed salt and their bath and body oil that you purchased through me and my self-care and self-love packages. Let me show you here. Remember from the first video? So, at this process that we're at, you've either already, you should have already um, cleansed your bathroom and took in a shower, cleansed yourself. And, they, and you either decided to um, cleanse your restroom again, but you've had to wipe your tub down before we do this step. So the step before this, you wipe your tub down. Now, we're gonna go ahead and cleanse our area. I'm gonna cleanse the area because I haven't, I haven't did that. So I'm gonna cleanse my area real quick. So while I'm cleansing my area, I'm gonna go ahead and start running my water. This is Palo Santos. This is what I use to cleanse my area. This beautiful bag. All negative energy is not welcome here. The spiritual bath I am about to create and receive and marinate my body and good intentions in will transfer. All my good intentions will manifest. All my positive energy, positive thinking, positive acting, positive words will manifest. There's no self-doubt here. 
I am better. I am love. I am worthy. I deserve self-care. Self-love. Okay. I hope y'all can hear me. Those are my positive affirmations. Let me turn my water down. Uh -oh. I don't want it to be too loud. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, like I said in the first video, I like to add my oil first. My bath and body oil. With this bath and body oil, I use rose hair. With this bath and body oil, I will be cleaned. Remove all negative energy and attract abundance, prosperity, love, guidance, abundance. I am a magnet of everything that serves the truest good in me. You know, you can keep going, keep going. You can rub yourself down in it if you need to. With these herbs that I'm adding to my spiritual bag, I am worthy. I will attract everything that, that serves the truest good in me and my family and friends' life. We will attract abundance. It will stick to us like money. We will be guided. We are protected. Everything we will see will be with good intentions. Everything that we attract and give out would be with good intentions. Good intentions. No bad intentions. I am protected. I am guided. I am loved unconditionally. Everything I want, I will manifest. It is done. It is done. It is done. Ask, believe, and receive. Before I get in, I like to shake my money jar. Money is coming. Love is coming. Abundance is coming. Healing is coming. Guidance is coming. It's done. It is done. It is done. Now here I have my book. I have my wine. I have my... All my stones, I have my Flora Agate collection that I purchased through Keisha Gage through the Amethyst Garden that helped me get into my bliss. I also have my candle. Anything that helps you get into that bliss of relaxation to start your self-care and self-love journey. You can get in, you can choose to get in, excuse me, or you can wait until the water fills up. But you can have no distractions. Once you're in, you're in. This is your moment. You deserve this. This is your desire. Speak your desires. Let all of that in your desires transfer into that water. Marinate in everything that serves the truest good. Picture the best person you can be and be that person. Really feel it. When you get out, when you get out of the tub, you're gonna, you can rub yourself with the bath and body oil, like I said. And you're gonna speak love and life, continue to speak love and life into yourself. When you let your water out, you're gonna need a strainer. I'm gonna post a picture of the strainer that I use. And so you want, it's, it's a lot, it doesn't look like a lot of stuff, but it's a lot of herbs in there. And you don't want it to clog up any pipes or anything. Give it back to the universe. Send it out. Send it out. I feel like I've covered pretty much everything in this. If you have any questions, uh, post them in the comments below. And thank you guys. Y'all have a grand day. Later.